G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest from Infinite Wealth and today we are talking the top five Brisbane hotspots for 2022. Now before we get into it, if you wanna find out how we help our clients quickly build an asset base that pays them $2,000 a week or more in passive income, pays their home off up to three times faster and saves them thousands in tax every single year, then click the link on offer. Now everyone, it seems, wants to own a piece of Brisbane. Media attention following the confirmation of the 2032 Olympics has put an increased focus on the potential of the Brisbane property market. And there's an expectation that the lead up to this global event will direct a positive spotlight on Queensland and generate a property boom. Now the reality is, is, is that Brisbane was already a rising market before the IOC made its announcement in July. See, people are migrating to Brisbane from other parts of the nation, attracted by its lifestyle, its affordability, and its track record in keeping the pandemic at bay. The infrastructure spend is elevated, creating big economic activity and jobs, which also is bringing in new residents. In addition to this demand from home buyers, the latest survey from the PIPA indicates Brisbane is their number one choice for Australian property investors planning their next move. Now, the fact that Brisbane property values are generally half those in Sydney makes its property attractive to big city buyers. Now, its vacancy rate is much lower than Sydney or Melbourne's and rents are rising, making it a very good time to be a landlord in Brisbane. So Brisbane has big momentum in its property market. And before we count down our top five Brisbane hotspots for 2022, let's have a look at what's been happening. So sales activity has exploded in the past 12 months, and that is now leading to price growth, with 97% of suburbs in the greater Brisbane area recording increases in their median house prices over the last 12 months. Now, of the 225 suburbs in our recent price analysis, 218 have recorded annual price growth, including 196 which have improved by more than 5%, and 29 which have grown by more than 20%. Now, apartment markets have largely returned to growth also. Of the 130 suburbs with apartment markets, 105, that's 81% of them, have recorded increases in their median unit prices in the past year. Now, in the housing markets, there is good growth occurring across all sections of the Brisbane market, but the biggest uplift to date has been in the more expensive areas. Now, in the Brisbane inner precinct, the city's most expensive suburb, New Farm, is the growth leader, with its median house price rising 30% to $2.1 million in the past year. Hamilton has risen 26% to $1.85 million and Red Hill is up 27% to $1.1 million. Barden, Paddington and Wollongabba have recorded increases in the 20 to 23% range. Now the Brisbane East Precinct is excelling, led by Norman Park where the median house price has increased 35% to $1.15 million. Balmoral, Camp Hill, Cannon Hill and Hawthorne have all risen 24 to 26% in the past 12 months. Now the Brisbane North Precinct, essentially the middle ring suburbs on the north side of the city, continues to be a standout growth market. Now nine suburbs have recorded median price growth in the 20 to 24% range in the past year, including Mitchelton, Northgate, Brighton, Wilston, Wollowin, Hendra, Ascot, Clayfield and Ashgrove. Now further north, growth rates are rising in the Moreton Bay region with the Redcliffe, Margate and Caboolture South all up 20 to 22%. Now growth in the Brisbane West Precinct is headed by Graceville, up 28% to $1.14 million, Turinga and Indrapilly. Now the affordable Logan City and Ipswich City precincts are amongst the busiest markets in the Greater Brisbane area, and that to date has translated into price growth that's strong but not yet outstanding. Now Logan growth is headed by a 26% rise to $600,000 in Windaroo. Several other Logan suburbs have risen 12 to 15%, including Daisy Hill and Eden's Landing. Similarly, the leading suburbs in Ipswich City, which is East Ipswich, Springfield and North Ipswich, have all recorded increases of 14% with the median house prices in the 300s and $400,000. Now, based on the exceptional uplift in sales activity in both the Logan City and Ipswich City markets, we expect the level of price growth to accelerate. So now, let's get into the top five Brisbane hotspots for 2022. Now, kicking us off at number five is the North East Precinct. Now the property market of the North East Precinct of Brisbane's north side is well positioned for major growth. The suburbs in this precinct are benefiting from extensive construction being carried out in association with the multi-billion dollar economic development known as the Australia Trade Coast, which encompasses Brisbane Airport and the Port of Brisbane. Now, other projects stimulating the local economy are the $5 billion Cross River Rail, the $1.3 billion Airport Runway Expansion, Brisbane Racing Club's $1.5 billion master plan and the $1.1 billion Hurston Quarter Venture. That's also in addition to the $650 million upgrade to Kingsford Smith. 
drive. Now, $1.1 billion upgrade of the Gateway Motorway was recently completed with an additional $1 billion upgrade planned at the Bruce Highway intersection. Now, real estate in this precinct has performed strongly in the recent past, including during the 19 period in 2020 and 2021, when many other Brisbane sectors have struggled. Now, good price growth has returned as an influx of Southerners make their way to the Sunshine State. Now, an appealing feature is the low vacancies which have been falling across Brisbane's northern suburbs for three years. Most precincts are now below 1%. Now, next at number four on our top five Brisbane hotspots for 2022 is Logan City. Now, Logan City is one of Queensland's fastest growing communities and home to two of Queensland's priority development areas at Greater Flagstone and Yarra Bilba. Now, buoyed by a strong economic track record, Logan City is emerging as an investment hotspot in southeast Queensland. Now, sales activity has risen significantly, and this is starting to translate into good price growth, with affordability being a strong attraction. Now, investment in infrastructure is a key factor also. At present, there are publicly funded infrastructure projects totaling $18 billion underway. Now, the more notable projects are improving the key transport corridor, including the $1.5 billion Coomera connector, while the Logan Hospital is undergoing a $460 million upgrade and work has begun on the $1.5 billion Crestmead Logistics Park. Now, other plans will see the development of a health and knowledge precinct and government hub linking Logan Hospital, Logan TAFE and Griffith University. Now, new schools are being built while shopping centres are expanding, bringing a freshness to the city with additional retail and entertainment. Logan City attracts both home buyers and investors because of its strategic location, excellent infrastructure and attractive affordability. And with economic activity growing, there are opportunities to buy affordably with rent yields in the 5 to 6% range. Now the Olympic precinct, Inner South, comes in at number three on our top five Brisbane hotspots for 2022. Now the property market of the Inner South precinct of Brisbane is well positioned for significant significant growth, particularly in the lead up to the Brisbane Olympic Games in 2032. Now, real estate in this precinct has performed sluggishly in the recent past. However, good price growth has returned as an influx of Southerners make their way to the Sunshine State. Now, the suburbs in this precinct are already starting to benefit from extensive construction being carried out in association with the multi-billion dollar economic development known as Australia Trade Coast, which encompasses Brisbane Airport and the Port of Brisbane. Now, other projects stimulating the local economy are the $5 billion Cross River Rail, the $1.3 billion Airport Runway Expansion, Brisbane Racing Club's $1.5 billion Master Plan, and the $1.2 billion Brisbane Metro Project. Now, the recent successful bid for the Brisbane to host the 2032 Summer Olympics has supercharged the sense of optimism for the area with some major infrastructure projects planned. Now, research into the impact on real estate in previous host cities for the Olympics and other major global events staged in Brisbane shows that the suburbs closest to the major event venues experience the greatest uplift in property prices. Now, this suggests the suburbs of the inner South Precinct will experience considerable impact from that proximity to the main Olympics venue, which is the Gabba. Coming in at second on our top five Brisbane hotspots for 2022 is Ipswich City. Now, key criteria for buyers includes affordability and proximity to employment nodes. And the suburbs of Ipswich City attract steady buyer demand for those reasons and were boosted in 2020 by first home buyers helped by high levels of government assistance and low interest rates. Now, the market showed particular uplift in the early part of 2021. Jobs growth and population increases are the current hallmarks of the Ipswich economy. Now, for some years, it has been one of the fastest growing regions in Southeast Queensland and has become one of the top two Southeast Queensland regions for jobs growth. Other core elements of the Ipswich appeal are accessibility, affordability, and infrastructure. The Warrego and Cunningham highways and Ipswich motorway together with the rail links ensure the Ipswich region, region is well serviced by transport while many suburbs have median house prices in the low 300,000s. Now, several billion dollar enterprises across the commercial, residential, defence and transport sectors are bolstering the local economy, delivering infrastructure and generating jobs. These include major national companies and government departments moving into the area. Longer term planning includes a fast rail service between Ipswich and Brisbane, along with extended rail links from Springfield to Ripley and Ripley to Ipswich via Yamanto. Ipswich has shown strong price growth in the past Prices rose strongly in the five years to 2009, and this market is poised for another period of growth, following big increases in sales activity in the first half of 2021. And now, time for our top spot. Number one on our top five Brisbane hotspots for 2022 is the Redcliffe Peninsula. 
Now, the opening of the new train line in 2016, extensive gentrification over the last decade, and the exodus to affordable lifestyle are the key forces behind the recent surge in the Redcliffe Peninsula property market. Development applications have ramped up since the opening of the $1.2 billion Redcliffe Peninsula Rail Link, providing a rail connection from Kipparing to Petrie and onward to the Brisbane Airport and Brisbane CBD. Older properties are being knocked down and replaced with new apartments, often with water views, providing opportunities for Southerners who have been flocking to Brisbane and surrounds to avoid the worst impacts of the pandemic. Now, in the past 12 months, property sales have increased dramatically, accompanied by double digit price growth in most suburbs across the peninsula. Yet despite the heated conditions, the Redcliffe Peninsula remains affordable and considerably cheaper than many other suburbs across Greater Brisbane. It has the added benefit of a seaside lifestyle and easy access to major employment hubs like Brisbane Airport, the Port of Brisbane, and the Brisbane CBD. Well guys, that's our top five Brisbane hotspots for 2022. Just a reminder, if you wanna find out how we help our clients quickly build an asset base that pays them $2,000 a week or more in passive income, pays their home off up to three times faster, and saves them thousands in tax every single year, then click on the link on offer. Apart from that guys, have a great week and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, that's action. Thanks a lot and bye for now.